This is STV News. Good afternoon. Campaigners march through the streets of Greenock today to protest about the planned closure of Scotland's busiest Coast Guard station. Clyde Coast Guard and another centre in Fife are under threat because of government cuts. Those opposed to moves say closing the stations will result in job losses and lives being put at risk. Kelly Ann Bishop reports. With banners, pipes and chants, they made their voices heard. Around 200 people turned out in anger at the plans to close Clyde Coast Guard and move the work from Greenock to a centre in Belfast. It's disgraceful even thinking of closing the Coast Guard station. Many lives have been lost. If I hadn't been for the Coast Guard. I'm just here because uh, if I walk today and I am saving one life, that's what I want for. This is to save life. The people in Belfast, they don't know our coastline or Glencoe or all these places. We've got a hard enough time as it is um, trying to get to the jobs and get information. The information's key. The Clyde Bays and 4th Coast Guard in Fife rescue hundreds of people each year. The UK government wants to close the centres by 2015 as part of an overhaul of the service and to save money. We know that the lives uh, that will be put at risk here and we're asking the one question to the government is why Why have you chosen to close Greenwich Coast Guard station? We are absolutely astonished that uh, the, the MCA want to close us uh, as the busiest station in Scotland. Uh, and we do most of the work for the West Coast of Scotland uh, from this branch and just can't understand why they want to close it. The strength of feeling on this issue is blatantly clear. The message from campaigners and the local community is close Clyde Coast Star down and lives will be lost. And with less than a fortnight until the consultation period ends, the pressure is on to save the station. Kelly Ann Bishop, STV News, Greenock. A man 